Hey everyone, it's Melody. I am here with a what's in my bag slash modeling shot video of my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. This was a 2005 Speedy, so it is almost 15 years old. I actually do have a wear and tear review video on this Speedy if you guys want to see that. I will try to link it down below or somewhere. Anyways, this video is going to show you guys what I keep in it when I am uh, packing up for a busy day. So if I know that I'm not going to be home for 8, 10, 12 hours, this is typically what I will keep in this bag. And at the end, I will show you guys a uh, uh, some modeling shots of it just to kind of see the size of it, as well as modeling shots you, with the strap, because this strap is actually quite old. This is definitely vintage, and but this strap has been the saving grace to keeping my bag in a pretty decent condition. So let me show you guys what I ha would have in my bag on a very busy day. Let's see what's in here. Anyways, uh, first of all, I'm gonna show you the little pocket that's in here and what I keep. I will always bring a chapstick. I will always bring some gum with me and I will always have my AirPods or some form of headphones, um, earphones, what have you. I just, my AirPods have been what I've been carrying with me. Next, I will typically carry a hydro flask, especially since it's summer now. I live in a desert, it is hot here. I need to make sure I stay hydrated. This is the, oh gosh, how many ounces is this one? Does it say? 18 ounce one, it fits perfectly in my Speedy 25. So if you are looking for a hydro flask or something to carry with you to make sure you are hydrated and have water, the 18 ounce hydro flask in this model fits in the Speedy 25. Next up, I have my little pill bottle. It just has like ibuprofen, cough drops, what have you. So that's my little pill bottle. I have my Zippy coin. I typically will carry this when I need, when I know that I need multiple cards because I'm going out for various reasons or whatnot. But I typically won't carry this uh, if I don't need to. But it does carry some credit cards, some players cards, some like rewards cards, you know what I mean? Like that sort of deal. So that's that. But typically all I carry with me is this, you guys. This has been the best thing that I've ever purchased from Louis Vuitton, I feel like. And I know it's so odd, but it is the key holder and it actually holds your key. So I have my car key, my house key, my mail key. And that's all I carry in there. And then this little slot here is amazing. I carry my driver's license, my debit card, and possibly a credit card or my target card, my red card. And literally this is all I use and I will be on the go. So this has been the most amazing purchase that I've made from Louis Vuitton. I didn't think I was gonna love it that much, but I do. So I carry that with me always. I also carry a charger just in case for my phone, if, especially if I'm gonna be out all day, just in case. And I have a protein bar. <laughs> so that is it, and that is now an empty bag. This is what I would carry if I had a very busy day. Sometimes I actually do carry like a little lotion with me or a little hand sanitizer. I actually bought some hand sanitizer from Trader Joe's and it's the spray kind, which I 100% prefer over the gel kind that you typically get. So I'm super excited to have that now and that might be something that I carry with me. But this is pretty much all that I carry. So I'm actually gonna put everything back in the bag and then show you guys the modeling shots. So this is how it looks like with everything in the bag. I don't have a organizer, I just throw everything in there. That's how I've always been <laughs> with my Speedy. The little things I will put in the little pouch, but everything else just kind of falls right in. Just wanted to show you guys that there is a lot more room. I mean, I could put more things in here, but I don't really carry all that much with me. So let's go ahead and go to the modeling shots now. All right, so here is the bag as just a handheld. I am 5'5". Five five. I don't know what else to tell you about my stats. I'm 5'5", five five, and this is a speedy 25, like y'all know. Uh, here it is when I just hold it in my hand. Here it is in the crook of my arm. I like the 25 when I was younger. I had bought the 25 and then a few years later I had wished, purchased the 30, but now I am very happy that I got the 25. I don't need a bigger bag. I just don't carry that much with me. And then for the shoulder, this is how it looks like on when I've just got the shoulder strap. So when my mother purchased this strap years ago, I mean, this strap is over 20 years old, 
the associates at Louis Vuitton did tell her they recommended not doing this sort of thing. She had a 30 and she did this with her 30 because they said that it could damage the structural integrity of the bag. I can see where they're going with that for sure, but I've used this bag with this sort of setup. As you can see, I've got one hook here, one hook on the other side in the opposite direction, and there's been no structural damage, just wear and tear from the metal clasp rubbing against the leathers and things like that, but honestly, it hasn't ruined the bag at all. I'm just very fortunate, I suppose, or Louis Vuitton just makes good stuff. But in, you know, in hindsight or now, in 2005, they did not have the bandolier. At, if I were to purchase this bag right now, I would purchase the bandolier for sure. The strap is so helpful, especially when you don't want to use it as a handheld bag and you just kind of need to do stuff and get around and have it on your shoulder and have hands free, you know what I mean? So definitely, if you're thinking about getting the Speedy, go for the bandolier. I think it having a strap changes the bag completely. If you are dead set on having a classic bag, go for it, but just know, that uh, strap options are maybe a little bit more limited now. I don't know how the integrity of the bags are now, but this is just how mine is. I think the bandolier would be fine, honestly. But in 2005, they did not have the bandolier. So this is what I purchased. But here it is on me. And I really do love it with the long strap. Uh, unfortunately, this strap is not long enough to make it a crossbody. I will show you what it looks like though. So here it is. It just hits too high on the hip, as you can see. Maybe if you aren't as busty as I am, if you're a little bit more petite, it might fall a little bit lower. But as you can see, that is pretty high up for me and not very comfortable either, the way the strap is digging in a little bit for me personally. So I don't typically go for this look unless for some odd reason I like am in a rush and I need to be doing something. So, but that is what it looks like, you know, crossbody in a sense. So there is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25, what I carry, what's in my bag, and some modeling shots. Anytime I think about purchasing a new bag, I always go on YouTube and I look for people who have modeling shot videos. I think that's the best way to determine if I think the sizing is appropriate and everything. But here is mine, and I know there's so many videos on the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. I mean, it's like one of the most owned bags, right? <laughs> But here is mine, especially with my slightly different strap option here. Now, if you guys wanna see more videos about this bag or a comparison video of this bag versus maybe some of the other bags that I own, definitely let me know down in the comments down below. If you guys happen to like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see other videos from me, check out the links in the description box below. If you guys like me, go ahead and hit subscribe. I have different content, sometimes fashion, sometimes Disney, sometimes crafting. It's like a hodgepodge up in here. But if you guys wanna see more from me, you guys can definitely hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, thank you to whoever wanted to see this video as well. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, thank you guys so much. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!